Hello and welcome to part two of the Road Down Under, which follows the National Women's Team on their World Cup qualifying campaign. We're here today at Windsor Park, National Stadium in Belfast, and inside the players have just commenced training ahead of tomorrow night's game against Latvia. Colin and I will soon be going into Windsor Park where we're hoping to catch up with Marissa Callaghan and Kenny Shales. Here we go. First of all, let's look back to Friday night. What about that atmosphere on Friday? It was fantastic. Fans were amazing. Um, we spoke about it after the game, you know, when we walked out um, onto the pitch, the, the, the applause, it, you know, made some of us emotional. Um, it's the first time I've had a proper fan base in a match in a couple of years, so it was an incredible experience. And even the fact that they stayed behind and we were able to, to clap them off and show our appreciation, it was, it was really special. Kenny, first of all, congratulations on the result on Friday, 4-0, and it could have been a lot more. I think so. That's a fair assessment. Uh, you know, the girls were very prolific and we were very attack-minded, and we wanted to get an early lead, and we achieved all of those things. We did miss a few opportunities, but at the end of the day, we've got three points and to help us in our preparation for tonight. What an incredible night it's going to be um, for every single player, and not even for the players, for the, for the fans as well. Um, the girls are extremely excited about it. We, we want to put on a show. Um, it's going to give us that extra wee fire in our valleys. You know. I mean, there's no better feeling than walking out um, on the pitch to play for your country, but at our stadium, at home in front of the home fans, it's going to be incredible. Could you imagine if we got the support of the men's game, how much better the girls would be? I, I, can, I would love to see that someday, maybe not in my day, but I'd love to see the women's game grow so that uh, Northern Ireland supporters would support the Northern Ireland ladies in, in a greater volume. We're at a very low level at the moment in terms of where we want to be, but there has been growth in the last two years. There's been a massive growth in the women's game and that can only lend itself to um, more participation in, at youth level and also more interest from the, from the paying public. Hello and welcome to Windsor Park, where Colin and I are here to watch the Northern Ireland ladies play Latvia, hoping to get another three points. Yes indeed, another massive game for the girls. This is the first time, incidentally, that they've played here at the National Stadium in Belfast for over nine years, so that makes this event even more important for them and indeed for their families. I am so excited for this one, yeah. so good luck girls and all the best. Another three points, hopefully. Let's do this one. Come on, Green and White Army. Colin and I are pitch side at Windsor Park where we're hoping to go and speak to some fans and get some score predictions and hear their thoughts on the game. And how excited are you to watch the ladies play tonight? Really excited. Do you think that'll be you maybe one day playing for Northern Ireland? No, Liverpool. Maybe? Oh, this Liverpool? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm not so sure about Liverpool. <laughs> I'm a Man United fan. Oh. So how do you think... Yeah. The, yeah? And how do you think the Northern Ireland ladies are going to do tonight? 4-0. Four 4-0. Nil. Four nil. Get the three points again. And are you excited to watch Northern Ireland ladies play tonight? Yeah. Yeah? And do you think they're going to win? Yeah. Yeah. Have you got a scoreline for them? Yeah. What do you think the score is going to be? 2 0. And how do you think the Northern Ireland ladies are going to do tonight? I think they'll do great. Yeah? Do you think they'll get another win? Yeah. Do you play football yourself, Eva? Yeah. Yeah? And how excited are you to watch the Northern Ireland ladies play? Very. What do you think the score is going to be? I don't know, hopefully better than the other team anyway. How do you think they're going to do tonight, girls? Good. Amazing. They're going to win, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have we any score predictions? No. <laughs> no? No. Um, Have you got score predictions? 3-1. What do you think the score's going to be? 3-1. 3-1. Hello. <laughs> well, here's hoping they get a win and then six points. Did you watch them on Friday night? No. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Megan, have you got a score prediction for us? I uh, hope the Northern Ireland's going to win. Yeah, another three points for them. What do you think the score's going to be tonight for the Northern Ireland ladies? 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0, another three points? Yeah. Yeah. Off and a great start. Fantastic. Have you got any favourite players at all? Simone Miguel. Yeah? She's yeah. Good. Yeah. She's good, isn't she? yeah. Score predictions? 5. 5. Fantastic. I hope so. 
two one to Northern Ireland. Two one. Yeah. Two nil to Northern Ireland. And have you got any favourite players in the in the Northern Ireland ladies? Yeah, team? there's Demi Vance. Um, she lives two streets behind me. Wow, so she lives near you? Yeah. Is she a friend? Yeah. Yeah, you know her well? Yeah. Fantastic, I wish I did. And what do you think the score's going to be? Probably 3-0 three. Three to Northern yeah. Ireland. Fantastic, I hope so too, and they get another three points. What's your name? Um, Amber. Amber. And what's the score prediction, Amber? Uh, I, have, I don't know, but probably 3 or 4. 3 or 4. But have everybody got um, uh, messages for the girls? What do you want to yeah. shout to them? Um, have a good game. It's my Have you got any messages for the girls? Um, the best. I wish them the best of luck. Cheer. Good luck. All of you got a message for the Green and White Army. Do you want to give them a cheer and support? What do you want to say to the girls? Good luck. Are you excited to watch Northern Ireland ladies play? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think the score is going to be? Two one, maybe. Two one. So another big three points for them. Yeah. Have you got any favourite players? Yeah, Marissa. <laughs> Marissa, I know, she's my favourite as well. I like her too. Going straight to the sky, let me see you put your hands up Cause we do till we die and we on another level To the rest with goodbye, put baguettes in the pencil Got a piece of the pie, told you once, told you twice That we only got one life, stay up Diamond shine, best at night Um, 
not too sure what to say about that one. Very emotional night here at Windsor Park. What a fantastic game of football. Thoughts on that one? Yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing for the girls and Kirsty McGuinness. It was written in the stars for her to pop up tonight in her 50th cap for Northern Ireland and getting a goal. Rachel Furness in midfield, lovely thread at passes. Lauren Wade, fantastic game out in the wing, giving us the width and the pace. So, yeah, it was brilliant. I'm so pleased for all the girls. Fantastic. Absolutely. I think it's only fair to say that every single girl there tonight in that green and white shirt played absolutely fantastic. So, credit to them all. all of them and at nil each at half time, you thought maybe it's going to be one of those nights, but you no, know, the girls battled away and eventually got their just rewards. Yeah, it was a frustrating first half for them. They had all the possession, but just that final ball was letting them down and they just couldn't get the ball in the back of the net. But they came out after half time really strong and. Mm played some lovely football and, and got all the goals, four different goal scorers yep. you can, so Kenny will be delighted with that. Absolutely perfect night. And hey, that completes uh, the second edition of the Road Down Under. Thank you once again so much for watching, and the good news is that next episode we'll be at Wembley Stadium in London for the game against the England Lionesses next month. London. So make sure you tune in there, we're looking forward to that one. And hey, thank you so much for watching this episode, and hopefully we'll see you all again from London next time around. Until then, it's bye for now.